Why do we always worry at the start of a season that we're never going to fill with books? Hello YouTube, it's Rob Maxwell's Grass Cutting Services based in the northeast of England. Hope everybody's well and having a really good day. Today's video, I've been asked by uh, quite a few subscribers, uh, how am I getting on and did I fill all my me, uh, me gaps? If you follow the channel, you know I put the prices up at the begin beginning of the season, uh, around February time. I messaged all my customers and said, um, my prices are going up significantly. And I lost quite a few. Um, quite a few I was quite surprised about. And uh, I've got to be honest, I got a bit upset, a bit annoyed at a few of them. And I learned a few valuable lessons. We're now coming towards the two-thirds into April and the grass cutting season, the gardening season is booming. Um, the weather is starting to dry out in the northeast and the temperatures are starting to rise and because we've had such a wet winter the grass is growing, all the shrubs are growing and the fawn is starting to ring off the hook and that's not being big-headed, it's not being boastful, um, I'm full. Now how did I get on filling the customers gaps? Well, I must admit, I, I was a bit worried when I first started. This is the first season, apart from my first season, I've gone into the grass cutting season, sort of that mid-March towards the end of March, beginning of April, and I've not been full, I've had gaps. So I took a little bit of one-off work on a few little hedges, and then uh, the, the phone rang, and I did a bit of an advertising campaign using Facebook business page and Google, and I managed to get some really nice customers and I am over the moon. Um, but it wasn't easy. I was going out to do quotes and people were giving it the normal. You're joking. That's so expensive. My last gardener wasn't that expensive. Wow, I don't earn that much per hour. You know the crack. And it starts to wind you up. And uh, so what I started to do is filter the people coming through and then uh, I'd ask for photographs, I'd ask for locations, and then I'd go and visit the quality clients and uh, never talk money to the customer, send them a nice detailed quote. And uh, I filled my books and a bit more. Um, and so am I closed for orders now coming in? Am I closed for work? It's a good question, isn't it? And the answer is no. I've decided that um, I'm gonna be loyal but I'm not going to bend over backwards for people. And that's going to get me some stick from the Karens. But what do I mean by that? Well, at the end of last year, if you'd have told me that you're going to put your loans up two quid, three quid, four quid, and some customer's been with you, you've been with them for that many years, and you, you've never missed a beat and you've worked your socks off for them, are going to drop you for a few quid. I'd have said, nah, you, you're wrong. But they did. So what I'm, my plan is... Um, I'm filtering the, the jobs that are coming in. And if there's any uh, small loans, mobile and goes, uh, within a mile of my home address, so you can do on the way back or you can do on the way out of your working day, uh, I'm taking them on. And I'm filling my books a little bit more than I'd like to um, because next year you're gonna lose people and that's where I wanna go. I want these small mo mobile and goes to be at least half of me work. That's where I see it. As I'm getting older, they're physically less challenging, they're more profitable. And if it needs that some of my customers that are a bit further away get let go at the end of the season, well, that's so be it. So be it. I learned so much when uh, people dropped us this year. And uh, I learned that you can't, you need thick skin running a gardening business and you can't take it personal. People come and people go. Your books are like a revolving door, one in, one out. And as soon as you realise that, the better. And it's took me a while to realise it. But going forward, um, it freshens it up. It really does. I've got some lovely new customers and uh, I like working on the lawns and it does it it's less boring than it once was um i've got quite a few scarifying jobs booked in um, but that's been late coming because of the wet weather and the, the soft ground uh, and i haven't marketed that this year because last year I made a right pig's ear of it i marketed the uh, scarifying work and then we had a bit of a a wet april didn't we and i couldn't get on there till the end of april beginning of may by which time you chock a block and it was just <laughs> I was having to work weekends and stuff, so I'm not going to do that again. But um, 
yes, I'm doing okay. The books are full and uh, I'm not taking on new clients unless they are a specific type. And that is small, medium lawn, in and out, mow, blow and go, 16 cuts a year approximately. And they're really close to my home address. And that's where I see myself going forward. So there's no need to be nervous. There's not. But why do we all get nervous at the beginning of every season? We think all our customers are going to run off into the sunset. So into the sunset. They're not. They want you. If you're professional, they want you. And uh, I think we all get like that because I get loads of messages from people saying, I'm a bit worried this season. I think the, the cost of living crisis is going to hit us. And it's not. They There's some people who'd rather pick a hot snake up than pick a bloody lawnmower up, wouldn't they? Unbelievable. But that's it. That's our, you know, it's for our benefit, isn't it? Because it means that we get the graft. So anyway, just a quick video today because I am playing catch up. Um, the rain, we are fortunate in the northeast that it's drying out and the rain's sort of, uh, it, it's not as bad as in other parts of the country. You know, I watched the uh, weather forecast. I watched the, uh, the BBC weather um, channel on YouTube and they do some great weather forecasts. And I know down south are still struggling a little bit with the, uh, with the storms and the floods. We're okay in the northeast. However, because of the wet weather and the storms last week, I'm still running a little bit behind catching up and just trying to add on and get my schedule right. But I'll get there in the end. And it's that's, that's life, isn't it? We just have to keep cracking on and moving forward. But I'm fully booked. <coughs> I've got some nice new customers. I'm over the moon. And uh, it's nice to get a few quid in the pocket, isn't it, at the end of the week? It makes life a lot less stressful <laughs> when you're not dipping into your winter fund in April and March and stuff like that. But anyway, that's it from me. I'm off. I've got a busy afternoon. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for everybody who subscribes, leaves comments. I always try and get back to every single comment. Last weekend, I was a little bit slow. I was away at a boxing event. I apologise. But this weekend, uh, when I release the video, I'll be there and I'll, uh, I'll respond to your comments as soon as I can. Um, thanks very much. Anyway, have a great week and uh, I hope everybody's busy. I hope everybody's sort of... Uh, getting enough work to make it pay because it is a stressful time and uh, if you're not and you want me to tell you how you get work plentiful and quickly let me know in the comments because I tell you what marketing people overcomplicate it it's not a complicated sub subject it's dead simple if I can get it right anybody can anyway that's me take care I've got to go I'll see you on the next one remember when the green gold's growing keep mowing all the best now